What an honor it is for me to be here at this very special lunch in one community. I so much, as mayor of the city, I so much appreciate the incredible work that this organization uh, does. And Over 50 years later, in 2012, in the state of Arizona, you can still lose your job just for being gay. We look forward to the day where no one is afraid to come out for fear of losing their job. Well, that is still an issue. So in 20, Arizona is one of 29 states in the nation where you can be fired simply for you being gay. Can. New tonight, there's a movement underway to end discrimination for those under attack because of their sexual orientation. Mayor Greg Stanton, on hand for the event, kicked things off by signing the pledge himself. And now we are officially kicked off. For our economy to advance, for us to build the right kind of jobs, we need everyone to be a part of our future. And so a diverse community, a city that embraces it, that's great for our local economy. The Unity Pledge has one simple goal to encourage businesses, organizations, and individuals to stand up for diversity. At Clean Air Cab, we've signed the Unity Pledge. We must do the right thing. We must do the good thing. And we must ensure equality for all Arizona employees. In signing the Unity Pledge, businesses and individuals are showing their support for diversity. PetSmart is the largest specialty retailer for pet supplies and services. And we were proud to sign the Unity Pledge. We encourage you to stand up for diversity in Arizona and sign the Unity Pledge today. We invite you to join us and sign the Unity Pledge. It's the right thing to do. Dramatic shift in the support of same-sex marriage in our country just in the last couple of years. The fight for marriage equality is a very personal one for a valley couple who have been together since the late 1950s. After decades of quietly living together and raising a family, they're about to do something they never thought they would do, speaking on the steps of the Supreme Court, fighting for marriage equality. Hello, my name is Karen Bailey. First, I want to thank the United for Marriage Coalition for inviting us to speak today. I am here with my partner, Nelda Majors, and we have been in a loving, committed relationship for 55 years. A lot of people do think that we're asking for special rights, but I think they're wrong. We just want equal rights. Even more than marriage, the ladies say this is about their family. They want to make sure that the legal hoops are gone that allows them to take care of their girls in the future. We went to great expense trying to, to get these things set up that if something happened to one of us, that the girls would be safe. Karen could make those decisions for me better than anybody else. And she should have that right to do so. As it stands right now, if I'm in intensive care, they do not have to let her in. We feel that we should have the same rights that a heterosexual couple has. And that we feel like the Constitution gives us those rights and that we deserve them. And we're now 73 and 74. We still don't have the rights of marriage after 55 years. 